goodness. Hi guys. So I've changed my clothes. I could not stand having a sleeve on this arm anymore. <sighs> I'm putting Benadryl cream, which I've been through this entire bottle in 24 hours, on again. Because I'm hoping that that will help. It's really swollen. I might have to go to the doctor tomorrow. <sighs> and I really, I can't though. I have to. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, hi! <laughs> we're back. Um, we're back because I forgot um, that I got uh, a deck that I literally have been waiting almost two years for. Um, I pre-ordered this deck February of 2018. Uh, oh, more than two years. I've almost been waiting three years. I can't believe it. Cough, doctor, cough. <laughs> I know, I know. Hold on. I'm going to take another oral Benadryl, which is going to not knock me out while I'm talking. Um, I thought I had another one. I hope I don't OD on Benadryl. Oh, no, I do have another one. Here it is. I couldn't find it. Yay, more happy squirrel family time. I know, right? Um, yes, so this deck, uh, I have been, I pre-ordered February of 2018. Um, oh, hold on, I gotta get YouTube up or else I can't see your comments. Duh. Like, why am I not seeing them over here? <laughs> and now I'm gonna take another better drill. Yep. I will be wide awake during this unboxing. Maybe. Yes, I am too. And now I have to say, though, as an aside, um, just because it sounds like a long time, and it's not that it's not a long time, it was a long time, but I don't, I'm not one of those people that I, um, I don't blame the creator of this deck at all uh, for this long wait. The Avalon, uh, this deck was created by Anna Turian, uh, did the art, which, oh, I just love Anna's art anyways. I can't wait. She has uh, the Oracle of Echoes, which is absolutely one of my favorite all-time Oracle decks. And she has a couple tarot decks um, that I'm waiting for hers to come out too. The um, Abyss Tarot is awesome, and she's working on another one. Um but poor Avalon had like her just one thing after another after another. The poor thing had so much go on in the creation of this deck. I don't blame her at all. It just was going to be, uh, you know, when it, sh when it was manifested, it was going to show up. But I just kind of left it in the universe's hands. And I'm glad I did because poor Avalon got, you know, got a lot of shit. Um, and... And it really, none of it was her fault. I felt terrible. Poor thing has been through a divorce now since this whole thing. And mama face, face plants it. We know why. Yeah, exactly. I know I'm going to be so drugged up by the time I'm done with this video. But seriously, you guys, look at my arm. I, it's, I'm kind of, I might be a little worried about it now. Because it's really, really red. And it's really painful. <laughs> I might have to. I don't know, but who would do the nooner? Nobody can do that like that. Anyways, I know it's it doesn't look very good. <laughs> Some beautiful samples of the cards. Um, I cannot tell you. So this is go to the doctor. Yes, I know, I know. All right, I know it's it's swollen. All right, so if you look at, I I shouldn't even do this though. Look at the difference in my arm size. It's really swollen. Holy shit. It's getting worse, I think. <sighs> I might have to go in tomorrow. Damn it. All right, all right, all right. All right, I, I'll, I'll think about going in. I got to do the nooner, though. We have the table all set up. Nooner can be rescheduled. <sighs> I know, I know, I know. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll think, I'll... Text Scott. <sighs> I gotta do the owner though. We need that money. 
<laughs> Book line as. Thank you. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll put some ice on it tonight. See if I can get it go down. It's terrible. Um, doctor or a Wednesday nooner. Yeah, oh, that's true. It, all right. I'll get it looked at. I promise I'll get it looked at. I will. I, 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 I'm going to have to because it's super painful. Anyways, this deck. This deck um, was created by Avalon Cameron. Uh, is the is the creator and she wrote the book um, and collaborated with Anna Turian. Colossal Silver. I, you know, that's a good idea. And I haven't been able to uh, find my stuff. Bob can hop in in your place. Sure, Danny. Just make it seem like anyone can do what I do. No, I'm kidding. I know he really probably can because I have I created a bunch of new sets for um for tomorrow. Like and they're all made up and the table is all set. I might I might have to. I don't have health insurance though. That's the other thing. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Anyways, um so this deck is very unusual in how they made it. Um, they created it on live YouTube videos um, with with input from everybody who was on the videos. Um, and Anna would change the cards up as, you know, we were talking to them. And um, the people who were watching would give input. And, um, you know, they had the outline. Uh, Avalon had a lot of ideas of what she wanted to do already. Don't they sell Calamine lotion in the U.S.? Yes, they do. Um, and I have, I used Calamine lotion and it, that didn't work very well. So now I have this Benadryl, which is supposed to be for this specifically. And obviously, that's not doing shit either. Go get some ice on hold. I, I do have, hold on, you know what I, so what I did break, <laughs> oh, that feels kind of nice. It, it might be ice cream. That's close enough, right? <laughs> oh, that does feel kind of nice. <laughs> oh, I need an antibiotic. I don't want to take antibiotics. <laughs> I have. I have tried oatmeal. I, um, I have not tried vinegar yet. Stop it. I'm, thank you. I mean, absolutely thank you. But don't feel like you have to pay me for that. I'm not, like, hitting people up for money. <laughs> I love you guys, but stop it. Um, Bonefire Tarot is something else. Yes, Bonefire Tarot is something else. I, I have that deck, and you can still get that, that deck. Unfortunately, I have to tell you, hopefully you don't love this deck that much because you won't be able to get it, at least for, I don't know, probably an, another couple of years. Because I know Avalon has been through so much. Remember what your arm looked like? Yeah, that's true. Avalon has been through so much that at this point, she's probably not going to want to hear anything about this deck for a couple of years. And she says uh, that at this point, she'll never redo this deck. Like, she'll never re-release it. I have an idea, an inkling that she, at some point she may reprint it because thank goodness the, you know, the artwork is all done, all that kind of stuff. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas deck? Yes, as a matter of fact, look at, I saw Cassie's. Mine finally came in today. Whoops, it's upside down. Mine finally came in today, even though I had pre-ordered it back in June. Um, and I saw Cassie's and I like, a lot of it, but not as it, it, it's some of it's disappointing, but I'll talk about that if you want afterwards. It has a lot of bad memories attached. Exactly. So I can understand why she might want to re, not want to reprint it. Exactly what I was going to say. She was been through hell with this deck. So I can see where it'll probably take a couple years um, before she wants to think about redoing this deck. Um, so it'll probably be a couple of years before anybody else can get a hold of it. Holy moly, the book is freaking massive. Wow. 
this is one book I probably am going to have to read. And you know me um, that I don't usually read the tarot books. You don't have yours yet, Kay? I hope it comes soon. Um, it, mine took a lot longer than a lot of people's. Um, and I like a lot of it. I Please don't use colloidal silver. It's a scam and can actually turn your skin blue if you take too much of it. <gasps> really? 16 point double space. Yeah, it's it's a it's a thick ass big book for sure. Um so wow. She, I know she put a lot of work into this book. She put a lot of work into this deck. Her and Anna both did. Um and the poor thing, like I said, I just felt so bad for her through this whole thing. She has been through hell and back with this deck. Um, her uncle died in front of her and she had to do CPR on him. They had to move across. She lives in Australia. They had to literally move across the continent to the other side of the continent to Tasmania. Or sh she was living in Tasmania. No, I think to Tasmania. Um, then the fires hit. Then, I, I mean, this poor. And then she recently she's been going through a divorce. So... <laughs> She just, the poor thing is probably never going to want to hear about this deck again. Um, and then people were being so mean about it. And it, and you were like, you know what? Sometimes the universe does weird fucking shit, you guys. There's just, <gasps> oh my God, this deck though. Look at, okay, so here's the back. I love, love, love. And look at the edges. Woo-wee. Um, gorgeous red edges. Um, and I adore the back is just stunning. Um, this deck may be like my soul deck. I know my heart went out to her too. I thought, oh my God, after everything else she's been through now, this deck quite literally has probably cost her her marriage. How sad. Just, ugh, just terribly sad. Um, it is an absolutely amazing deck. It's I, I'm so excited that it's here. Um, the energy is unbelievably amazing. This deck is, I think, going to be my favorite all-time deck, I think. Um, just because, here's the Fool card. So here, uh, you know, you start to remember the, the, um, the creation of this deck. So here we have the tree, see the tree of life opening up into the unknown and the woman is getting ready to step through into the unknown right um and what a powerful fool card i uh, cardstock is amazing stunning gorgeous uh you see mushrooms and a fairy on one side. Oh, there's several fairies in there. And then the spider web of life, that connection, which connects us all. See the spider web? How many times have I talked about the connections that we hold with each other? Oh, this is going to be an amazing deck. Amazing. I'm just so excited. Um, the magician is Gandalf. Oh, oh my gosh. The magician. See all the elements, the four elements he is mastering, pulling from above, and is able to um, manifest in this world. Um, the... Power and magic from uh, up above, as above, so below. I buy a poster of the Fool card. I know. Yeah. Make me fall in love with them and then say I can't get it. Oh, I, I know. And I, I just was thinking that, too. I'm sorry, you guys, that, that you guys probably won't be a lot, able to get this for, for a while. Um. Because poor Avalon just went through hell to, to get here. But I have waited for almost three years for this deck. And it is so, so worth the wait. 
Here is the high priestess Ugh. and the symbology of, you know, normally you have the pillars and this time the darkness is in front of her. She is the white pillar and then the symbols in her hair here. So we have the, the um, spider with the spider web. Uh, we have a key, I believe is in there. Yep. Um, we have uh, just the uh, Lemniscate, the figure eight symbol, the infinity symbol here. Just absolutely gorgeous. You got an email saying it was shipped. Well, I'll tell you what. My email came, uh, I think, two days ago. And then my deck showed up today. Shadowscape had a spider and a web for the high priestess as well. There are plenty of decks in the sea. That's true. Um, I will say that at, quite literally, this may be my favorite deck. Um, the connections that she makes are, I know, oh gosh, this Empress card, amazing. Here um, we have, she is pregnant. It's a pregnant Empress. And she's becoming part of the tree. So the tree is nourishing quite literally. She is getting nourishment from the tree and becoming part of the growth of the tree. <sighs> it is so gorgeous. The tree is eating her and her baby. <laughs> Out of print, favorite deck, everybody drink. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Uh, it, look at the harvest. So the harvest is in front of her. How apropos that here we are on Mabin. My deck arrives on Mabin. The Empress has the harvest in front of her. And we're at the second harvest festival of the year. The second harvest Sob it, and the the harvest is in front of her. <sighs> yes, I know, Kay. It's because my camera sucks. So I have to keep touching the screen to get it to focus. Otherwise, it just does this, and there is no focus because my camera sucks. So I try to touch the screen and allow it to go into focus so you can see it. But then it goes out of focus. So I'm sorry. Eventually, I'll be getting a new phone very soon. <laughs> Hi, honey. Uh, here we have the Emperor. Again, gorgeous deck. I'm going to have to go back and um, watch a couple of the creation cards and read the book a little bit because there's so much symbology in here. Her camera is like a little kid telling them to focus and they don't. Exactly. I'm like, nope, right here, right here, focus right here, focus right here. So what you can't see because my finger is down here is that I'm touching the screen to say right here, focus here. Nope, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Right here, focus, God damn it, focus. <laughs> I said, no one misbehave, please. <laughs> so there's the emperor. Um, this I know without a doubt, is um, my favorite Hierophant card of all time. Um, well. <sighs> this is the Shaman. This is when I think of the Hierophant. So there's two ways to look at the Hierophant. There is the structure of the church. You know, um, in a lot of Hierophant cards, you get the Pope-looking person and you're talking about the structure of the church um, and then the newer way to look at the hierophant is uh, a spiritual guide a spiritual leader this the um, the person that is coming to you that is going to help you find your spiritual path and that's what this is that looks like my favorite dark crystal character it does it kind of looks like agra doesn't it <laughs> favorite card of all time another drink that's right drink up 
everybody with my Benadryl and you guys drinking, we'll all be. <laughs> um, yes, does remind me of my Agra, who is, you know, my idol. Like Calypso, yes. Oh, an old soul for sure. Um, this is, you know, this is who I want to teach me. This is who I look to for wisdom. This is this is why I love Agra is um, from the Dark Crystal. <sighs> this is it. This is what I strive to be. The crone phase of my life. That's what that's what I want. Okay, I would you know not to be short and that fat, and I don't have the boobs for it either, but. <laughs> Just to see the beauty in me that is um, teaching <laughs> and look past whatever the outside appearance looks like, obviously. <sighs> oh my God. It's never mind. Um, the lovers, the cauldron smoke. You're not fat. We're all just a little husky. That's right. Don't you be picking on sexy. That's right. Sexy Agra is a beauty. She's, I, you know, she's just a little short. That's all. <laughs> um, so here we have the cauldron smoke um, coming up and forming the lovers. Yeah. I do just love this deck. Just love it. Uh, the chariot. And I know this was somewhat controversial because um, people called it the gypsy card. And, um, you know, she meant it to be the Romany people and the traveling Romany people. So, yes. Yep, exactly. Gorgeous. Um, and of course, oh, look at those red edges. I just have to show them again for those people who just came in. I'm fat and happy. <laughs> oh, strength. These cards are just absolutely stunning. So here she's meditating. She has that inner strength. Uh, the strength of the elephant, the lion, the snake, and the panther are um, coming into her meditations. I'm afraid I need to say good night. That's okay, Kay. I understand, honey. Sexy and I know it. That's right. We love you, Kay. Just, ugh. I love, love, love. This deck is amazing. See now, I've been on 23 minutes and I've gotten, I've shown eight cards. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Um, I forgot the hermit. Ugh. The hermit. She is in a cave. Uh, mm, just <laughs> I wish I had backed this deck now I know I know I'll be honest with you I'm only going to go through the um, major arcana for this one because I'm exhausted too and with this I'm going to I know my Benadryl is going to start kicking in and I <gasps> oh I forgot the wheel of fortune is the three fates Look, before you leave, Leela, look, the three fates is the wheel. Oh, spinning their web. Oh, yes. I 
forgot that card. Oh, that's amazing. Only going to get through the major arcana. I know, I know. Oh my God, two videos from the ladies that said she was going to cut down. I know. It's terrible. This one is her one of her favorites. It is though. Look, it's the fates. It's such a good deck. Is it weeping again? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Wait, this is one of my favorites though, for real. This is my card, though. This is Justice. And look at this is Artemis and Athena. Drink. <laughs> so that's another drink. Wait, that's two drinks. Yes, I am a lightweight when it comes to Benadryl. I will be knocked out. I, I got, I was listening to George, or George, to John Tenney last night, do this amazing talk about paranormal experiences and totally fell asleep. I was so upset because PhenomenaCon, the last night was last night, but I was trying to look so hard because I love John Tenney um, and he was doing this amazing lecture and I think I got about halfway through it and totally fell asleep. So, yes, Benadryl hits me like a ton of bricks. Um, the, <laughs> I won't say it. <laughs> but it's a pretty damn good hanged man, let me tell you. Because, of course, it's Odin. But this is, you don't see the tree, you don't, you see him hanging upside down. If you know the story of how Odin got the runes. That was his sacrifice to get the runes. And so here we have Odin with the one eye. Oh, a good hanged man. Are you sure? Is it your favorite? <laughs> oh, there isn't right now. Um, Michelle, there isn't a way to order it right now. She went through such hell. Now, my guess is there are going to be people selling it. It may be pretty expensive, though, um, because people know that it's a deck that's not going to be reprinted for quite a while, if ever. Um, so I would look on eBay. You know how you can do a search um, where it will alert you if, if someone puts it up for, for auction? I would start with that because people are... Um... All right. <laughs> Everyone get ready to drink. Death. This is an amazing death card. I love this deck, though, you guys. Um, so here he is. And he is giving himself up. The earth is coming up. The roots of the earth are coming up to take what he doesn't need anymore. Um, and bring the nourishment. Talk about sign of the times. Here we are at Mabin. And the earth is taking the nutrients that it needs from his body. And the birds are taking the rest. So the birds come down and feed on what is left. And form the skull in the air. Come on. It is just amazing. Darn good thing I'm only having tea or I'd be under the table. <laughs> Ava, start with uh, my Tarot Tuesday. Uh, I have, I, I teach every Tuesday night. I have a whole series. If you look on my playlist. Beverage time, I know. Please show the box again. Yes, we will do, Michelle. Here's the box right here. Bone, stone, and earth's flesh. Next is another one of Mama's favorites. <laughs> Please get your drinks ready. So this is not one of... No, I'm kidding. This is one of my favorite temperance cards. <laughs> okay, but look. It's like the perfect balance. So temperance is all about balance. And here we have the dry earth with a sprout coming up. And the water 
and air are up above it. So this is the elements in perfect balance. And what an amazing temperance card. Come on, how can you not like that temperance card? <laughs> So after mom leaves the AA meeting, we'll start to stick around. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I get through it. Okay. <laughs> I should just not show these cards, right? But this devil card... <laughs> Now you guys are cracking me up. I don't even want to show. <laughs> this is an amazing devil card, though. Um, so this is Medusa for the devil. Look at. Come on. Look at her. Standing. Look at. She's uh, a satyr. Standing on the skulls of her enemies, which she has defeated. <laughs> All cards are her favorite cards. She's Benadryl drunk. Yes, I probably am Benadryl drunk. But how cool. Come on. <laughs> All right, hold on. I want a bite of my ice cream and I'm going to put it on my arm. I'm so going to drop. Wait, I can't drop it on my cards. I have way too many sprinkles in here. My husband would flip out if he were awake. But I really think I can't drink any more time to switch to water. Okay. Now I can't touch my cards. Hold on. Okay. This tower card. <laughs> But when you see it, though, you go, oh, yeah, but that is a nice card. Come on, tell me you don't. <laughs> it's kind of ice cream soup now, yes, because it kind of melted. But look at this tower card. Tell me you don't feel the trauma of the breaking down of the tower. <laughs> There's no such thing as too many sprinkles. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look at the, the trauma of the tower. <laughs> no, it's an eagle carcass. He is caught in a trap. So, yes, of course, this is an amazing. Look at my phone is such a piece of shit there. Of course, this is an amazing tower card the trauma of yeah this got to me too of him being i in the eyes for me the eyes do it look at his eyes he's caught in this trap and his eyes i'm sorry you guys god my fucking phone sucks oh are looking at you like are you kidding what are you doing to me it's, it's got to be one of my favorites. Drink. I just, I'm going to not bother saying it. This is all one of my favorites. Here's the star. How can this not be anyone's, not one of your favorites? Um, the star is you. The star is this indigenous, gorgeous creature, hu creature. This indigenous, gorgeous human being, um, and and he is the star. It's coming out of him. He's the star. It's freaking beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous. We're almost done with the major arcana, and then I'm going to have to do the minor arcana tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to be able to talk soon because the Benadryl's really kicking in. <laughs> Um, the moon. <sighs> Love it. Here's the moon. The trees are eating everybody. The 
trees are eating everybody. Are you drunk? <laughs> what is your non-favorite card? Um, this is... Oh my God, someone annoying. I hate these people. Why are these annoying porn people always on people's channels now? It's so annoying. I'm single. <laughs> really? You freaking... Anyway, it's um the Bonestone and Earth Flesh deck. And it's not available. So don't fall in love with it too much, Sonia. I'm sorry to say. It won't be available probably for a long time. I took it took me three years to get almost the sun talk about a gorgeous sun card this is Beltane here we have going around the maypole I'm single wink yes exactly Leanne it, they just commented or something on one of my videos and it comes up and I'm like oh gosh and it's always the same picture it's like some young Asian girl or something so I don't know if it's a company or what it's amazing. Did I miss that comment? <laughs> I'm single also. How you doing? <laughs> it was on, on the video. It wasn't on this video. It was on like probably the Mabin video. So it just, the notification came up that they commented on the video itself. The sun is a seasonal poster for me. I'd have that up for Beltane, right? Hell yeah, for sure. That's a perfect Beltane poster. Um... So judgment, we talk, uh, wait, did I, we just, did we just do judgment recently on Tarot Tuesday? I feel like we did. And I feel like I talked about this card. At least I, I know I posted this card on, uh, the event page. Um, this card to me is absolutely the perfect judgment card. Uh, it is an initiation. This is what a classic initiation into paganism, into witchcraft looks like. We didn't do judgment? Who the hell was I talking about? I was talking about this card to somebody and showed them this card. I can't remember them. Yep, Mama Squirrel's squirrel brain does it again. So this is, though, the an image of what um, initiation looks like. Yes, I have lots of suggestions, Sonia. I will get into that when I do a Samhain video. But I'm doing a completely different video right now. Mama Squirrel's initiation classes is the judgment card. Ah! I did it in initiation classes. It was that long ago. Wow. No kidding. Oh, no, you're saying. <laughs> Never mind, Danny. I'll get there. The Benadryl is taking me a lot longer to get in. <laughs> <sighs> That's true. We're all here with you. I know. I, I got it. It just took me a lot longer for, you know, the Benadryl in between the brain synapses. Takes a lot longer to get there. But I, I finally got there. Um, <laughs> you do not have to lose any weight for initiation. So the reason this is the perfect initiation, this makes the perfect judgment card, um, is because there is something to be said for getting initiated, um, in the nude. You are drink more soda, eat more ice cream. I will, I will, I will. Um, there is something to be said for that. Um, and it's partly because you're coming into the coven, into the circle with nothing but who you are and what you've learned. Um, and it's, I'm sure if you've seen movies, you've heard of um, Imperfect Love and Perfect Trust. And there, there's something to be said for that. That's an actual saying in uh, paganism. And it means that we are all here to guide you. We're all here for you. Um, and when you do that in the nude, it, there's a vulnerability there. 
I'm not saying that my initiations are like that. I have been init initiated like this, <clears throat> but I, I am not comfortable being a priestess who initiates others like this. And it's not coming from being a prude because I would if social things were different. Um, but in the political and social climate that we live in nowadays, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, just because there's a lot of things that can come from that that put you as the priestess in a vulnerable situation. Um, but as far as the judgment card, it's the perfect card because it's about coming before um, those who... Thank the gods, no naked squirrels, no naked squirrels. Um, coming before uh, those you are initiating with, your spiritual family, um, with nothing but what you know and what you have learned. Um, and that is like the perfect judgment. So um, that's, it's a beautiful ritual to be initiated that, that way really gorgeous. Um, okay. So last card I'm going to show for the night. Cause I really need to, Oh, actually there's two cards because there's one extra, uh, major arcana card. I forgot. It would be a lot of shaving. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the world, <clears throat> the world is Yggdrasil. The world is the Norse, uh, tree of life. Yggdrasil, love, 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 love this card. Mm, so good. Mama needs sleep. I do, exactly. I prefer group robed rituals. Yes, because they allow people to express themselves in what they wear. Absolutely, for sure. We can be little Brazilian squirrels. <laughs> Your back, really? Because, you know, your back, Kale. <sighs> the last card, the last major arcana card is uh, the Bruja. And this is Avalon. This is a self-portrait kind of card. Uh, Avalon created the, the witch, the Bruja, as the last uh, major arcana card. And so it's kind of a self-portrait in front of her, you know, area where she used to do her videos. And it's really a stunningly beautiful card. Surprise! Yes. Yep. Does everyone wax their pucker? Yes, it was a surprise from Anna. Yes, that's true. That's true. Didn't tell you all to behave. I better have lost a very high stakes bet. Otherwise, fuck that. Oh, you have to really trust your waxer, right? Whew. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I'm going to... um. I, if you guys want, I will go through uh, the other cards uh, on another night, probably Wednesday. But look at that Ace of Wands card. That's what's next. Um, absolutely gorgeous deck. I, I'm so excited that it's here. Um, and I am really quickly fading. Like, I can't even think of what the hell I'm trying to say. This is, that was the Major Arcana for the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot by Anna. Uh, I said it 14 times, and now I can't remember it. Cameron, I need to go to bed. Uh, and Anna Turian does the, the artwork. Um, so, <laughs> happy Mabin. I can't speak. Seriously, I think I OD'd on Benadryl. <laughs> Blessed Mabin, you guys, um, and have a great night, and um, I love you, and uh, tomorrow is Tarot Tuesday, so 
join me to see what kind of drugs they put me on because I'm obviously going to have to go into the doctor tomorrow for this shit. Um, go sleep your drug off. Thank you. I think I will. Yep. Yeah, this has to happen. This is oh, so painful. Oh, I don't even want to lay on it. Uh, I love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, make sure you put your questions in for Tarot Tuesday, please, in the event page. Love you guys. <laughs>